there is no doubt that black people struggle in this world, in this country, America. Homelessness, poverty, and despair. It's hard for many black people in America with housing, employment, bills, and just getting through basic daily things. It's the basics. It's hard for many black people. I know it's hard for me, and I don't even have kids. <laughs> so if it's, if it's hard for somebody who don't have kids, you know it's a problem. Because having kids don't solve poverty. Going to college don't solve poverty. I don't know what solve poverty. Probably maybe start a business or something. Because I know education doesn't guarantee a job. I've struggled with homelessness as an adult after going to law school despite going to law school nobody cares you went to college my eye is starting to hurt this lady in Atlanta got six kids and facing homelessness housing assistance had dried up in Atlanta it could soon leave this full-time mom and her Six kids on the street. I remember when I was growing up, growing up in Detroit, we became homeless. I was walking home from his, uh, elementary school. My daddy was like, get in. So I knew something was wrong then because he ain't never, ever, he was like, pick me up from school. And that's the day that we were evicted. All our stuff was out on the streets, on the sidewalk, on the curb. We put our stuff in storage, but eventually we lost the storage because my parents could not keep up with the storage payments. So that's what happens. You become homeless, you, be, you, you get evicted, you become homeless, you lose everything. You put your stuff in storage, you lose everything because you can't keep up with the payments. Then you got to start all over. It's a repeated cycle of poverty. And my goal has always been to get out of poverty. Um, and I didn't think having kids would would uh, get me out of poverty. So I always would decide to say to myself, to leave these men alone. I didn't let them flirt with me. Because I just knew, like, at a young age, I just knew, like, men just wanted sex. Like, men approach you from a sexual standpoint anyway. They always talk about how beautiful you are, how cute you are, pretty, sexy, you know, let me get your number. Like they always come at you from a sexual standpoint. So it's obvious that men just want sex and sex is going to lead to either one thing, the disease um, or a baby. Here is the video. What happened? Wait. Six o'clock, Metro Atlanta residents struggling to pay their rent say that now that COVID-19 Relief, re, uh, our relief funds are drying up. They're having a really tough time finding resources to keep them afloat. And one Fulton County mom tells our Savannah Levins that now she's tried everything to keep a roof over her kids' heads. As of tonight, the seven of them may be out of luck and out on the streets. Good job, Cinda. Deborah Johnson is trying her best. Did you want another color? To make sure her six kids have a bed. They um, gave people who are on food stamps $350. I got the beds with that. To shield them from the truth. I try not to show it in front of the kids because I don't want them to feel like things are unstable. I don't want them to feel like at any moment we could be put out in the street. Deborah moved to Georgia less than a year ago, fleeing a violent relationship with her kids and her master's degree in tow. I was a professional teacher of third grade students for six years and then got my master's. She assumed she'd find work. I put in an application for Fulton County, Clayton County, Henry County, Gwinnett County, and DeKalb County. 
No one called me back, maybe because it was the middle of the year. They stayed in a hotel for a while, then found a rental home in Sandy Springs, secure thanks to help from Fulton County's Housing Assistance Program, which was set up with COVID relief funds to help with people's rent for up to 18 months. But three months in, the money was gone. They were no longer accepting any applications. I went to Salvation Army, 211, United Way. Every assistance out there for rental was either dried up, no longer helping. She doubled down her job search, finally securing a position at Stone Mountain Middle School. Soon I'll be able to make enough money to keep the, the house that I'm in right now but it's still there in between because that's for next school year. Her landlord has filed an eviction, agreeing to let them stay if she could come up with the back rent and fees by the end of April, but she simply doesn't have it. I can't say any negative thing about my landlord because they've been more than fair. I've already missed one payment, so they could rightfully put us on the streets. Do you know what you will do if there is an eviction? I don't because most of the shelters that I've called so far say they can't take a family of seven. My car is big. <laughs> Put some some blankets in there and ride this thing out. DeKalb County reopened their housing assistance application Monday. But Fulton's is still closed. Good job, Mama. Deborah knows any day now they'll be evicted. Do you want me to put it on the refrigerator? She's the only one who knows. They already have something I never had. But they don't know at night I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Not knowing if someone's going to knock on the door the next day. You know? Not knowing if we're going to be here in another week but she still makes the kids beds, keeps them fed, and keeps praying for a miracle. I've never been in this position before in my life. Fulton County commissioners did confirm to me that they have no more funds for housing assistance left, but they are helping connect Deborah with other resources in the area. We've linked to those along with Deborah's GoFundMe in this story on 11alive.com. It's all types of issues in this story. Um, I don't know where to start. <laughs> uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Say she got a a big car and she put some blankets in the car, but that's what I had to do. I had my car was little. I had to uh, lay in the back seat. Fold my legs up. I was squished up in the back seat of a cobalt. So, you know, that's a compact car. So I couldn't even lay out. I couldn't even stretch my legs out straight. And that car, and I was homeless. So, I mean, you only can do so much at the end of the day. If you become homeless, hey, you just become homeless. I mean, what can you do? Um, I personally would not have six kids. That contributes to your income, your money, and time, and taking care of yourself, your health, stuff like that. I, I just wouldn't have six kids. That's, that's just me. Um, so she, she was in a program that well first she fled from somewhere from some so whoever she fled from knows she in Atlanta now <laughs> so from a domestic violence situation so wherever she fled from knows that she's in Atlanta now um but she didn't have a job, but she was, I guess she was fleeing for her life. She was in fear of her life. So I guess that's, you know, a legitimate reason to leave somewhere. But that's where savings come into play. You really can't probably save if you got that many kids. It's savings account. Um, I don't know how much teachers make. I really don't know. Especially, somebody told me, um, The teachers make more in, in Michigan than North Carolina. I know somebody that, uh, well, I know of somebody who said they wife left North Carolina and went to Michigan, worked as a teacher, got paid more. They were still married, and he lived in North Carolina. 
So you might want to check with different school districts in different states to see who you pay more because the South is not, it's not where it's at when it comes to money. <laughs> um, then she was on a, some type of program, an 18 month program where they were supposed to. So you can't depend on the government. You can't depend on the SOS. That's the lesson from this. Well, that's one lesson from this. You can't depend on the government because she was in an 18 month program where they were supposed to pay your rent. But three months into the program, they ran out of funding. <laughs> wow. They're supposed to help her for the next 18 months to help her. Well, the, basically, that was going to help her get on her feet. You know, 18 months, she could have got like a little part time job, save up until her real job as a teacher starting next school year. I just, I mean, people probably wonder what daddy at, what the baby daddy at. It's also very important to pick the right type of man to have kids with. Because <laughs> some men, well, we, well, she was in domestic violence, so that man is not probably contributing. Men or men, so whatever, how many baby daddies it is? She has six kids, so I'm assuming it's probably more than one. This is very important to pick the pick the right father to have kids with somebody that got something going for himself, somebody responsible, somebody that come from a good home, somebody who has money, somebody that had if he don't have a job, maybe he in school and working on building a career or a business. It's so important not to just lay up with any type of man to have children with because. It's that's going to affect you and your children in the long run. You need child support, the assistance, raising children is not easy. So, my family faced the same thing when I was in elementary school. We became homeless. So, it's just a it's just a repeated cycle that needs to end. But we can only end it. Like I, I still struggle. I'm I'm single with no kids. I still struggle, but. I know that having kids is not even if I it's not about oh, do I want kids. It's not it's it's about do do it make sense to have kids? Does it make financial sense? Is it gonna are they have are they gonna have a good life? It's not about what I, what I want because some people have kids because they say I want. It's all about I I I. It's not. It's really not about I, you. It's not about me. It's about that innocent child that's coming into this world. And can you provide for them for the next 18 plus years? It's not, it don't end when you, when that child turns 18, you gotta think beyond 18, so. This is something that needs to be looked at. People need to consider in the black community is this like reckless behavior, having sex, recreational sex, uh, having kids out of wedlock? Like, a lot of people don't get married. A lot of people don't get married in the black community because government. If you marry, they're not gonna help you. You know, the government not gonna help you be married sometimes because they look at that man's income too. <laughs> um, but. This is something that needs to be addressed. It's a serious problem, serious issue. Um, it's unfortunate that those kids are facing homelessness. Um, but we, it's, I mean, it's so many factors that contribute to homelessness and poverty and despair in the black community. But I think that we could all look at our own actions and see what can we actually do as individuals to build wealth. And I think one way is maybe sacrificing, sacrificing. You know, don't get your hair done, don't get your nails done, don't buy weed, don't buy alcohol, <laughs> don't go out. 
And these are just some things that I wish I have had it done when I was in my 20s. I was getting my hair done, nails, you know, going in college, just thinking like, okay, well, I'm gonna get a job. Like, I'm gonna get a job, you know, not thinking like in the future that like, it would be so hard to even get a job at a good company making good money, but that's what it is. That's what it is. But she has did lady have a job, so that's good. But it won't start until next next year, the next school year. Um sacrificing is it's a big part of it about building wealth. Uh, I wish and then it, we need to have more we need to have the right type of education. The public school system is not the right type of education for us. Uh, so they don't teach you about financial literacy, building businesses, wealth in the future. They don't teach us things that the tools in public schools that we actually need to be successful as an adults. And that sets us up for failure from the beginning, right from the jump. I'm going to end it there and I'll be back with another video. Um, Got to study. Do some studying for the bar exam that I don't want to do.